Well, this is it. The last episode of the original series. While I still believe The Littlest Hero had a better premise for a series finale, Farewell Ultraman still does a pretty good job at being entertaining and has a lot of great moments of tension in it that makes it the next best solution. When a squadron of ships, led by a race of aliens that have previously visited Earth, returns to settle the score with humanity, the Science Patrol prepares for the worst. However, the team quickly learns that the aliens have already gained a leg up on them when one of the aliens kidnaps and disguises itself as Dr. Iwamoto to sabotage the patrol's HQ directly. Can the team manage to fight off the squadron and save their home both at the same time? And what will happen to Ultraman when the alien's strongest weapon literally brushes off all of his attacks? Characterization relies primarily on the Science Patrol, which makes sense since this is the series finale and all, but they're their typical self even after 38 episodes. However, Alien Zeton takes center stage when it not only disguises itself as semi-regular Dr. Iwamoto and actually manages to destroy the patrol's base from the inside out. No other alien, except for Bolton and Alien Zarab, have ever gotten this close to actually dismantling the patrol's HQ ever. It's truly a shocking moment when it happens, and it adds to the tension as well. Effects are also pretty typical for the most part, but there are a few moments that are noteworthy, such as the patrol's dogfight with the alien Zeton's fleet, the miniatures involving the science patrol's HQ, Zeton's demise, or at least the aftermath of it, and Zofi's debut, all of which are pretty nicely captured. And last but not least, Zeton himself. While he is definitely lacking in the personality department, his intimidating power definitely makes up for that. And seeing Ultraman getting ragdolled by him is both ironic after witnessing the hero do so to Bemular back in the first episode, and especially shocking when Zeton actually wins effortlessly. The only real downside to this monster, which isn't even its fault, is seeing the Science Patrol destroy him. While it is satisfying since it shows that the team can destroy a monster on their own now, it does come off as a little anticlimactic since most of the instances where they destroy monsters are usually for a weapon that, for some reason, is never reused ever. Another much bigger problem I have with this episode has to be the extremely bittersweet, if not downright mean-spirited ending that Hayata is relegated to once all is said and done. But I assume this was the result of rushed writing or something. Here's hoping it doesn't happen that often in later shows. Again, while not the best ending for the series, it is certainly far from the worst. Full of drama, action, and a nice bit of world building, Farewell Ultraman serves as a great ending to a great series. <laughs>